My name is Kalisa and I'm a Planetary Society volunteer. I'm also a National Park enthusiast and junior ranger. We're here at Death Valley National Park in Southern California and we're going to talk to a few rangers about exploring our park's night skies. So I've heard this phrase that half the park is after dark. All of our lighting here now is down on the ground where you need to see, it's not going up into the sky. Because a lot of our nightlife needs this darkness as well to survive. So like the birds that are migrating or the kangaroo rats that only come out at night. Mm -hmm. Preserving the night sky is huge, not only for the wildlife, but also to see the Milky Way galaxy. And Death Valley specifically has mountain ranges blocking us from Las Vegas and also blocking us from Los Angeles. And some of our the areas of our parks are some of the darkest places in the lower 48. Where I'm from in Kansas City, you look at Orion and it's like you can barely make out like the basic asterism of it. But here, like you can see the nebula. You can see the sky how people have before we started trapping ourselves in the light at night. International Dark Sky Park. That's very good. What a cool plaque. A lot of people are starting to get to know nature a little bit better and wanting to be outside. Is this a roadrunner? Oh, this is Rodney. He uh, is really an attention hug. <laughs> Sometimes he'll bring himself offerings and he will stand in front of the, the windows over here and he'll like dance for himself. <laughs> I was in Yosemite National Park uh, and I realized during an evening ranger program that people were seeing the stars for the first time. I thought, what about spending a year traveling through the national park system, working with rangers and visitors on the whole range of ways they can experience astronomy in a national park? And the Planetary Society realized this is a wonderful way to reach out to the public and to capture people's interests in a setting that normally no one would expect. We've all seen photographs of Old Faithful in the Grand Canyon, but nothing compares to seeing it with your own eyes and the same goes for a dark, starry sky. And that's why visitors from all over the world come to the U.S. national parks to see this Milky Way that they can no longer see from home. I guess when I think of our place in space, I hear we are stardust. The fact that you can look back and say, this is where we came from, cool. Because without that protection of the night sky, we don't have that anymore. Right. You can't really look back at where we came from. Can't see it. Yeah. I've never met a single person that has confronted a dark night sky, seeing the band of the Milky Way, and has not felt something from that. It's something that's, that's ancient within us all. The day is done here in Death Valley National Park. That means the night is coming, and I'm going to have an opportunity to check out this amazing night sky. And you should too. Go out and look up.